back to my channel. My name is Sarah Ray Vargas and today I have for you a little fall haul. I'm so excited. My house has already got like little cute pumpkins and new stuff cropping up all over the place. Uh, oh, and if you want to see decorating and stuff like that, you can check out my vlog channel because I don't post it here. Although these days I really wish the two channels were just one channel because it's a lot. It's a lot of videos when I'm posting over there. But anyway, I do all my decorating and whatnot over on that channel, but today I do have a new Fashion to Fit Your Fall haul for you guys. It's a lot of dresses, a lot of dressier stuff. I did their denim stuff recently, so if you're interested in denim more casual stuff, I would check that out. And I do, of course, have a new code for you because <laughs> I'm sponsored by FTF, thanks, hi, what? And the new code is 118087, and you can use that at Fashion to Figure if you have a store local to you, or you can use it on FTF.com, and it'll give you 10% off additional on top of whatever sale or anything they have going on, and they do have a sale going on right now, so you can get the 10% off of your entire purchase on top of that, minus the like clearance red line stuff and uh, the shapewear. But everything else you can. P.S. Before I jump into it, okay, I was, I asked you guys on Twitter and stuff if you were interested in seeing like Halloween kind of stuff, like costumes and stuff, plus size costumes. I know I normally do really, really bougie ones from um, Hips and Curves, but <laughs> I don't want to do that because at the end of the day, it's very unlikely you're going to spend $600 on a Halloween costume unless you're like really about that life and I'm not about that life. So if you, <laughs> I asked you guys if you wanted to see like affordable um, like Halloween costumes and stuff like that for plus size gals, most of you said yes. Um, but while I was like researching that because I wanted to get them from a few different places, I realized Fashion Figure has costumes too. So <laughs> if you're interested, um, Fashion Figure does have plus size Halloween costumes, and you can use that code on top of that. Um, not sure if I'll feature them like fully in a video, maybe, I don't know, but uh, for sure look out for that. I'm gonna have some slightly different content coming this month, which I'm excited about. I'm kind of, that's why I'm redoing things. Did you notice things are different? All right, it's a really long intro. Not everything is being redone, I'm still who I am, so let's jump into it. All right, this first dress is super stretchy. If you're afraid of having things kind of showing and glowing, I wouldn't recommend it. But if you have some kind of flat stomach or you simply do not care about a visible belly line, then this might be the one for you. It is really, really comfortable. Comes in kind of cinches just below what I would consider like my waist, just below that. It is like a really spandexy fitted kind of dress. As you can see, there's a lot of sheen happening. There's a lot of glow happening. It's totally off the shoulder. It's not the kind that keeps coming up because, in fact, it's more so the kind that would keep going down. Um, I mean, it hasn't really moved. I've had it on for like 10 minutes. It's been fine. But... Yes, okay, I wear size one in pretty much everything, even though I'm on the upswing right now, okay? I still pretty much wear one in everything from FTF. They do have very traditional sort of plus size sizing. So one is like a 14, 16, and even though I'm more of a 16, 18, because they are kind, because they're a plus size brand, it's more giving, I would say, so a one still works for me pretty much across the board. Okay, so I have to mention that like this video is not gonna do justice to what Fashion to Figure really has to offer during the fall and winter. They are hands down my favorite retailer when it comes to like these type of outfits, especially pretty much any time between like August or September to December, okay? They crush it when it comes to like the affordable, okay? Like I urge you to attempt to spend full price on any of this stuff right now. Like it's not gonna happen. They're super affordable and the quality is good and everything, but on top of that, they have like trendy, stylish pieces that typically is a little bit harder to get your hands on when you are this size, big size, plus size, my size. It's seriously a lot harder to get your hands on stuff like this. I know like things are so much more accessible and everything now. There's so many retailers and boutiques and da 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 da. But still, I feel like they're killing the game. So I'm gonna link a few more things down in the description box that I don't have to actually physically show you right now, but that are definitely worth the click to it at the very least check it out and see what they have to offer. The reason I mention that right now is because obviously I have this little like trenchy coat thing on. There's no, oh wait a second, oh I almost did it, I almost said there's no pockets, but they know what's up, I, uh, they know what's up, so <laughs> it has pockets in it. But I love coats and stuff like this, it really jazzes up the outfit, plus during this like transitional time it's really nice to have lighter weight uh, sweaters and like, uh, damn what is this called, it's not called a trench coat, what is this called? Where's the tag ma'am? on the inside. Three-fourth sleeve midi dress. Is this a dress? Oh, it's, I'm such an idiot. <laughs> 
This is a dress, so clearly that's the tag for the dress. I must have I must have ripped the tag off. I'll do my best to link stuff if it's not on my actual page yet though. But this is their like everyday midi dress. So they have this dress like pretty much all year round, I'm pretty sure, and they have like different colors and stuff. Um, but this is just the long sleeve black version. And then obviously this is a nice little jacket to go on top of it. This is a way to like be chic and stylish without actually knowing how to be chic and stylish because I don't actually know how to do those things but like on the internet it appears that I do. In reality, not so much. Okay, this is like a very forgiving dress. I also, I don't know what I anticipated. It's actually kind of loose. It's on the looser end. It's just the knit of the dress itself. I don't think it's meant to be very fitted but because of that I would actually go so far as to say that if you are in between sizes I would go down a size even the arms are like they're so stretchy that I think even if I had gone down to a zero, I don't think it would have looked bad. Like, it probably still would have looked really good. Um, it has this cute little, like, lacing here up the side, which I like. It actually is, like, for real. It peeks through and everything. It's the kind of, like, dress that I would wear with, like, some uh, knee-high. No. Thigh-high? No. Knee-high. I would do, like, knee-high boots. Oh, P.S. Fashion Figure always has a great selection of actual like wide calf boots. I don't know if they're out quite yet on the site, but um, I would check it out. Or maybe, you know what, I can probably notify you guys. I can let you know if you're not like in the know <laughs> with FDF. Um, if you follow me on like Twitter or Instagram or something, um, I can probably post when they actually do release them if they're not out yet. But they have a great selection all the time of uh, boots that come out around this time and maybe next month, I don't know. This dress makes me want to like go to church. A little bit kind of a little bit makes me want to go to church just which is not a bad thing not a bad thing <clears throat> this jumpsuit this has me questioning things you know am I going to bed in this little silky number am I part of the pit crew um am I trying to channel Liza Thornberry I don't know I don't know that loud ass plane we don't even have an airport over here. What I have to say though is I really don't hate it. It has a zipper, it starts right here, pretty low, and then it goes all the way up, obviously. I could truly close this if I was part of the pit crew and I'm trying to stay, you know, out of the way while I change the tires and stuff. I don't know what people really do in the pit crew, but um, it does open, obviously. And then it has this kind of like little drawstring like elastic here. Um, I don't think it looks bad. Does it look bad? You tell me. This looks like a lot of cheetah, leopard. I don't know the difference. Are they different colors? Um, and then it actually, actually, I don't hate it from behind, my friends. Um, and then it has like a little uh, elastic at the ankles as well, so you got the little genie pant thing going on. Speaking of, I went to New York the other day, I vlogged it, <laughs> um, but I had two flights in one day, so I decided to watch Aladdin, and I split it up, and I was very excited because I hadn't seen Aladdin like the new one, and it was so good, it was so much better than The Lion King. Lion King was trash, and Aladdin was so much better, like the costumes, the dancing. I don't know how to dance, but the dancing, like, oh, it was so much better than Lion King. Ugh, I should have watched it when it came out. It even fits my big old arm, like, I'm not suffocating inside of here. This is actually a cute jumpsuit. I mean, if you can pull it off, pull it off. They're definitely down with the animal prints, so if you're interested in animal prints, but maybe not necessarily a jumpsuit, check them out. Okay, full disclosure, guys. You guys know I work with Fashion Figure all the time, right? I've been working with them since I became a blogger in 2013. We go way back, okay? So when they send me stuff for videos, sometimes I actually select all of it, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I'm like, just send me a crop of the new stuff. I have faith that it's gonna work out because I genuinely like their clothes. This time, they went ahead and sent me a crop of the new stuff, okay? And when I pulled this out of the package yesterday or Friday, I like pulled it out and I immediately just started clowning this dress. Listen, I take it all back. I have not looked this good in an outfit in a long freaking time. I don't know why I was making fun of it. I think just like when it's not on a butt, you know, some things don't photograph well, <laughs> like me. Um, sometimes things just don't look good until you put them on. Excuse me, this looks so freaking good, okay? So it's obviously like a faux snakeskin kind of thing. All the little zippers, the little thing up here, like it looks like a little jacket, a little dang zuko in me. Anyway, and then the back, okay? This, this is important. The back um, is stretchy. And then up here, it's like mega stretchy. Do you see it has like that added whatever the hell, I don't know what that's called, but where it's kind of like roughly almost. Okay. 
that's important because this dress fits my body to a friggin' T. Are these real? I wouldn't put anything in them, but okay, they're not real. Okay, the only thing it doesn't have is pockets, but frankly, you don't need pockets. Holy crap, I needed this outfit. I have not been feeling the best about myself lately. I've been trying to like change some things in my life, rearrange furniture, I don't know. But this, this was like an instant mood booster. Should have started the video with this. How do we feel about the wall being naked? I don't know if it's gonna stay like this. I think I'm gonna change the color. I don't know, I need opinions. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> see-through in the back that's so cute a good reason for me to not wear a bra with this dress any reason for me to not wear a bra is just well you know what I don't even need a reason not to wear a bra in fact at this point in my life I need a reason to wear a bra like that's not a regular part of my day anymore so this is a cute little dress isn't it cute I wasn't sure what I was expecting it has a little uh, panels on the side and then obviously as you just saw as we discovered together, this is all see-through and it has a zipper here, but I just pulled it on over my head. Straps are adjustable. It's a very comfortable fit. It's actually a really nice little length, kind of <laughs> demure, hello. Peekaboo knees down here. Cool part though is that the top is a layer of mesh, followed by, and it's like a striped mesh if you can see here, um, followed by a layer, a very light layer <laughs> of tulle. And then underneath that, you pretty much have like the more um, you know, regular, like, little satin knee slip, and it's just, this is a really pretty dress, like, I feel fancy in this dress, like, I should go somewhere fancy and be fancy. Do you hear my knees crack? That's what 30 sounds like. If 30 needed a soundtrack, it's the sound of cracking knees. Can't wait to find out what 40 sounds like. This is cute! Okay, this is cute, this is a cute dress, wasn't expecting it. Oh, let me say, so this is a size one, like I said, this is $64.95 regular price. They pretty much, I want to say they have 25% off or 30% off right now. Um, so let's say you took that off, plus you use that code 118087 to get the additional 10% off, then you would get it for like roughly 40 bucks, which is not bad because Fashion Figure has like good, solid quality clothing. I'm sad. I'm sad. <laughs> okay, how, how cute is the dress? Okay, I'm sad about this dress because it is really cute and I like it. Oh no, the other one fell. And I like it a lot. The slit's a little high. Hello. Okay, the slit's a little, a little high. But I'm thinking maybe I just need the bigger size. Where's the tag? I'll double check that it's a one, but I'm pretty sure it is. Um, it doesn't really have any stretch or anything in it. And the bodice is actually fine. Like the body's okay. Like I said, it's a little bit high, so I'm not sure how I would rectify that. Is this not supposed to be a dress? Is this supposed to be like, no, this is a dress. What am I talking about? This is definitely a dress. The, oh, so nice, the length is perfect, everything's perfect, except the arms for me. So this is just really a me problem, but like, does it look extremely tight? Because I literally can't even, you see it now, right? I, I couldn't reach to the other side to like, help it out if I wanted to, like if my life depended on it, maybe. But um, it has a zipper in the back, it's, like I said, this is not like a stretchy material. However, let me tell you, they have another option because this is not going to work for me because my arm is so big unless I go up a size, but then the body's probably going to be too loose. You know what? Why am I doing a try-on haul if I'm not going to try on everything in the haul? Okay, so this one's not quite as long, you see, but it does go further down uh, here and the slit is on the left instead of in front of the crotch, basically. Better design, in my opinion. And you can actually, can you adjust? Oh, is this for real adjusting? Let me find out you can actually adjust. Oh, you can actually adjust it. Okay. See, this is how you change the game. You want the game changed? You do it yourself, ladies. So, um, okay, so obviously you can make it longer. And then, like I said, it has those flowy, fluttery kind of sleeves. I didn't zip it up all the way. Pardon me. But you see, this one fits a lot better. The other one, I did confirm, was a size one. Just runs a little snug. I've had a lot of jumpsuits like this in my day. I have tried many, 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 many. And I gotta say that I typically find that only the patterned or floral ones are actually flattering to me, in my opinion, on my body. So I'm like pleasantly surprised by the fit of this one because it doesn't like cling too much to my stomach. It's a pretty good length. I mean, you have to like like these jumpsuits to like these jumpsuits, you know what I mean? The only thing that of course I have to remark on is that these little baggy areas here, this is just the shape. 
This is not a pocket. This is just for fun. This is just for show. This is just for playtime. And I'm not here to play. So that's the only downside, really. But otherwise, outfits like this are extremely comfortable. Like, I always wear jumpsuits when I know we're going to be out a lot. I kind of want to look cute and put together because I tend to go out with someone who is always put together. And it's... It's challenging to keep up sometimes and uh yeah but i don't want to be like too restricted because i know i'm gonna be out all day or at work all day or you know what have you um well like at work i meant like you might be at work versus when i'm at work i'm in sweatpants typically i'm at work right now i work on sundays i make house calls to my own house but when you need something comfortable for like an all-day event or shopping or work or whatever highly suggest jumpsuits they are truly the wave of the future did this many jumpsuits exist like 20 years ago when I had to shop at Fashion Bug all the time? Like, were there jumpsuits there and I wasn't paying attention? Or was it just overly studded low-rise jeans? With a straight leg or a really big boot cut and a butterfly print and those shirts with the freaking rabbit bunny saying like, I don't care, me, me, me. You know what I'm talking You know what I'm talking about, right? I think you do. Guys, this dress makes me wish that I had an office to wear it to. This is so freaking comfortable. The whole top half is loose. Like, thank you. Thank you. This is what I need in my life. It's so perfectly fitted. Like, I mean, it fits so perfectly. And then the bottom, of course, is like a fitted, more pencil skirty kind of vibe. It is a dress, so it's one piece. And then it has these little like hooks in the front, which if you unhook them, they're not gonna do anything, but they're like the little hook and eye closure. It just makes it look so damn cool. It has a little keyhole up here in the chesticle area. It is like a perfect length. The elastic cuts off, or actually you can make it shorter or longer if you wanted to, now that I think about it, because it does have an elastic on there. So if you need it short, get it short. Off the shoulder, obviously. So cute, how's it look from the back? Oh my gosh, this is such a nice dress. Damn, this is a nice silhouette. I don't have a dress like this. I'm excited about it. I might be coming to an office near you because I'm not gonna have anywhere to wear this this week. Am I? Next week, maybe? Is this like a date night look? What kind of shoes would you wear with this? Would I wear like tan heels or like, what kind of shoes would you wear with this? Nude? Like nude pumps or something? Hm. Oh, I could wear blue ones. I could actually wear like some navy blue ones. That'd be hella cute too. <gasps> what if I did it with like a top knot? Okay, hold on. You know, I don't have like any hair. But can we imagine like, okay, this looks terrible. But <laughs> could you imagine like a bun on the top of my head? Please, yes, more eyeliner. Maybe some jewelry. Okay, you know I don't wear jewelry, but maybe. Dude, this was, oh, I can't even stop looking at myself. Okay, this is super cute, obviously, like two thumbs up from me. Um, that's all I have for you today though. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you want to see more. And I'll be back this month with a bunch of different stuff. I'm excited. I'm so excited for October. Oh wait, JK, this is September. I'm excited for October too though. So just full disclosure, I'm excited for the next three months, including this one especially. Yeah, if you want to get anything that you saw here or anything else on the website, use that code 118087. I really got to get them to give me a freaking word code. <laughs> 118087 for the extra 10% off on top of your purchase at ftf.com or even in store. I hear some people have trouble using it in store sometimes, but you should be able to. I've used it in store before. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will smell you later. Bye.